Undoubtedly, numerous warnings have echoed concerning the impending dangers that threaten God's children. Among these cautionary signs, a recent event in the southern United States stands out. A young boy, who had endured a harrowing illness spanning over 16 days, emerged from his ordeal with a prophetic vision. In his drawing, he depicted flames engulfing what appeared to be Catholics. According to the boy, this image was a message conveyed by Our Lady herself, warning Catholics of impending tribulations. It is believed that this illustration holds significance for their homes and communities' future, as a stark reminder of the need for vigilance and spiritual preparation in the face of adversity. To make sure more people see this video and understand its message, we ask you to share it with your friends, family, and anyone else you think might benefit from it. Also, consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos that aim to inspire and teach. We hope the message in this video touches your heart deeply and helps you think about your spiritual journey. Let it bring you closer to others who share your beliefs and help those trying to find their way spiritually. If you agree with what we've shared and believe in the power of prayer and faith, please type Amen in the comments. Your participation shows your support and makes our collective prayers stronger and more impactful. In the calm countryside in the southern United States, there was a very religious family. They had a cozy home filled with symbols of their faith like crosses, statues of saints, and special items passed down through their family. One spring morning, the youngest member of the family, Tommy, got very sick. Despite everyone's efforts and prayers, Tommy just kept getting worse every day. For 16 long days, the family went through a really tough time, hoping and praying for Tommy to get better. Then, something amazing happened on the 17th day. Tommy's fever went away, and he started to feel stronger. As he got better, he told everyone about a dream he had while he was sick. In his dream, he saw the sky filled with flames, and there was a bright figure standing in the fire, calling him with open arms. Tommy was so moved by this dream that he decided to draw it. With shaky hands and a lot of faith, he started sketching. What he drew was a picture of fire and Catholics, showing his spiritual journey. Word spread quickly about Tommy's miraculous recovery and his drawing. Tommy said that he received this message from Our Lady and drew this picture following Our Lady's message. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart. They look everywhere, but they will never find what they want unless they look into the mirror and see my Divine Son in everything and everyone. Catholics, it's important to take steps to prepare and safeguard your homes, especially when it comes to the potential dangers of fire. I feel compelled to share this message with you as a cautionary reminder of the importance of fire safety within our households. In the coming days, I will create a drawing depicting the imagery of fire. This drawing will serve as a visual representation, reminding us all of the potential risks associated with fire and the need to take proactive measures to protect ourselves, our loved ones, and our homes. In some days, after a huge fire destroys the entire house of a Catholic family, the scene will be very sad and upsetting. All that will be left of their home will be burnt pieces scattered around, surrounded by smoke and ashes. The fire will come suddenly and spread quickly, burning everything in its path. It will eat up the house's wooden parts, furniture, and all the special things that are important to the family. People nearby will watch in shock as the fire grows bigger and bigger, sending out heat and smoke. Even though firefighters will try their best, they won't be able to stop the fire. All that will be left will be a burned-down house and a feeling of deep sadness. For the family, it will be like a nightmare. They will lose all their belongings and memories in just a few hours. Their house, once full of life and love, will be just a pile of ashes. 
Everyone will feel terrible for the family and will try to help them feel better. They will offer their support, comfort, and prayers during this difficult time. Together, they will share in the family's grief and hope that their faith will give them strength to keep going. As the days pass and the family starts to clean up, they will know it will take a long time to rebuild their lives. But even though their house will be gone, their faith in God will remain strong. It will give them hope for the future, even in darkness and loss. Be loving to receive divine love. I keep you close to my heart, Mother. I call you to be ambassadors for this call of mine, and I bless you. I encourage you to contact me if there is a threat of danger. Grow in my womb, find sanctuary in my heart, and learn about my divine son from my motherly hand. Remember to pray every day. As Catholics, it's crucial to prioritize fire safety measures within our households. This includes installing smoke detectors, and fire extinguishers, and creating a family evacuation plan in case of emergencies. Additionally, regular maintenance of electrical systems, heating appliances, and other potential fire hazards can significantly reduce the risk of such tragedies. Moreover, it's essential to nurture a strong sense of community and support among fellow Catholics. In times of crisis, the outpouring of empathy and assistance from neighbors, friends, and fellow parishioners can provide invaluable comfort and aid. Let this story serve as a solemn reminder to all Catholics to remain vigilant, take necessary precautions, and lean on each other for support during challenging times. By prioritizing safety and solidarity, we can strive to protect our homes, families, and communities from the devastation of fires and other disasters. Isaiah 43 verse 2, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, the flames will not set you ablaze. This verse offers reassurance that even amid trials and challenges, God's presence is constant and protective. It symbolizes the idea that God will provide strength and refuge to His people, ensuring that they emerge unscathed, even in the face of adversity. Now, let's join and pray to find the blessing from Our Lady. O Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our tender Mother, look upon us with your loving and compassionate eyes. We seek your blessing, dear Mother, for we know your intercession is powerful and your love for us is boundless. Grant us your maternal blessing, O Holy Mary, in all our endeavors and in every aspect of our lives. Guide us in our decisions, comfort us in our sorrows, and protect us in our dangers. Teach us to imitate your virtues, especially your humility, purity, and obedience to God's will. Help us to grow closer to your Son, Jesus Christ, and to live according to his teachings. Thank you for watching our video, and we extend our heartfelt gratitude for sharing the Catholic faith with our team. May the messages shared inspire and strengthen your journey of faith. Stay blessed and connected in the love and teachings of the Catholic tradition. God bless you.